California, USA, December 28, giant waves pounded the coast of California on Thursday, causing chaos flooding, closing beaches, and damaging a number of properties and buildings along the coast. Waves topping 30 feet broke onto shore up and down the state, prompting shark warnings, such as one of the National Weather Service's Bay Area Division. High surf warnings remain in effect through early Friday, the weather service said. And waves surpassing 40 feet are possible. The coastal unrest was caused by a series of storms, with hurricane force wind brewing over the Pacific Ocean, pushing big swells towards the state. Several videos circulating on social media show the chaos that occurred on West Cliff Drive in Santa Cruz, 70 miles south of the San Francisco. It seemed fitting that California could not escape 2023 without one final bout of extraordinary weather phenomena after a year that delivered torrential rainstorms, blizzard in Southern California mountains, a rare tropical storm, and the re-emergence of an ancient lake. Further down the coast in Ventura, a beach town south of Santa Barbara, some resident was cleaning up Thursday afternoon after waves surged into residential streets and flooded some homes. The water carried sand and debris with it, blocking storm drains. Several people said they were shocked by the unusual waterfront show. Oh my god. Oh my god, is that this? This is the twice time. This is the second time we've got you think you saw a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my god. In Stinson Beach, a coastal town about twenty miles north of the Golden Gate Bridge. The local fire department ordered the evacuation of several small roads near the beach because of high risk of damage from waves and coastal flooding. Residents and visitors were told to evacuate immediately for life safety, and a community center was converted into an evacuation point. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The owner of the sandpiper lodging at the beach said she noticed that the tide appeared very high on her morning drive to the hotel, but that her business was not affected because it was high enough above the shore. Thursday waves, she said, were nothing compared with the repeated battering of the town last winter when California was hit by a series of atmospheric rivers.
Officials in Santa Cruz County warned residents to prepare to evacuate near Sea Cliff State Beach, not far from where intense waves tore a house of its foundations in January. On Thursday, crews elsewhere cleared debris scattered onto the shoreline highway by the ocean, and several car turnout near area beaches were closed. Some streets in the area were flooded. As residents clean up in Ventura, they were aware that more storm conditions and big waves were expected on Friday. The high surf in Northern California isn't unusual for this time of year, meteorologists say. In January, a series of atmospheric river storms caused high surf and flooding that left beaches, in symbols, and destroyed sections of piers in the seaside town of Capitola and in Seacliff. During the current storm, the San Francisco Bay Area coast could see waves up to 40 feet in some locations. The National Weather Service issued a warning for residents to stay away from rocks, jetties, piers, and other waterside infrastructures. In Southern California, the waves aren't expected to be as big, but high surf is expected through Saturday, meteorologists say. A high surf advisory went into effect at 4 a.m. Thursday for Point Conception in Santa Barbara County and Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach and Palos Verdes Peninsula beaches in Los Angeles County, all of which can expect sets of 15 to 20-foot waves and dangerous rip currents.